I hope I'm not getting a copyright for that. Hello. I'm here to apologize. I filmed this review already. The review of the Kali IN fives. And I haven't taken it off the camera yet. And I'm just like, I, I held back. I'm like, too many people are like, Zeos, everything you review is the best thing ever. And it's like, yeah, so I, I should just like, it's good, but it, fuck you. These are amazing. Like, I'm gonna shit my pants and throw it at a wall and then jump into the wall and get a concussion. That's how good the Kali IN fives are. You can put that on the box. So, Kali, K A L I, it's probably in the description of this video. I don't know. Um, make studio monitors. This is just studio monitor. It's just a fucking studio monitor. We'll talk about that. There's a whole bunch of shit going on there that's not hurting the situation. But. All right, if I was judging a television, right? All right, let's say I was judging this television. I had to change the wallpaper, something more more awesome. But if, like, I watched a good movie on it, that doesn't make the television better or worse. If the television is shit, it's gonna look like sh it's gonna look like shit. It's still gonna be a good movie. You can watch the Avengers, all the fuck you want, or you can watch the Lighthouse. Go watch the Lighthouse. Trust me, go watch the Lighthouse, and it's gonna be great or bad. But then the TV is on what I'm judging. So I'm judging these. So ignore the fucking insane tube shit that's happening right there. Because in order for that to come through, which I'm probably going to review that stuff on these, these have to be good. So Cali makes studio monitors. And Cali, the story, I actually reviewed a set of IN8s, the Mark I version, back in 2020 when I bought the house. Like, you can go back in this channel and find the Cali. It's either Cali or Cali depending on how big an Indiana Jones fan you are. Um, and there's just nothing here. It's like two speakers and there's no curtains and it's just, they're the eight inch version and they're amazing. And I completely forgot about them because somebody loaned those to me for like a week and I did the review and they were gone. Anyway, recently Kali came out with some desktop cube, like, like spheres that are coaxials, like that is. And the sub module, like, that's kind of cool. So I contact them and they're like, oh, yeah, those are out of stock. But we'll send you these new five Mark IIs. I think these are Mark II fives. Whatever they've changed. Because um, I haven't heard the fives. And I could just. <laughs> 39 hertz. The eights go to 37 hertz. These are $600 a pair on Amazon right now. Right now, if you're a patron watching this, patrons see these reviews early, which means they get faster. When I'm like, it's, oh my God, it's on sale. They get it within two, three days. They sell it on Amazon. I release it publicly. It's not available. Everyone complains. That's the way C reviews works. These are 350 a piece normally, 300 a pair on sale. 350 a piece, even if there's no sale, $700 for a speaker that can do You fucking don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. I have a raging clue, but I don't have a clue. These are now officially my favorite studio monitor. Fuck everything Adam makes. Fuck all the JBLs. Fluid, the Fluid uh, FX80. I still love them, but, but these are it. These are the go. These are the goat. They're stupid. Endless at everything I've put them to. The the story of Cali, the company Cali, is they used to work. They're all engineers who left a big company. I think it might have been JBL. I'm, I might be remembering that wrong. Whatever. K or K, whoever, fuck, whoever the fuck they were, they left. And they went, fuck you. We're going to go make speakers better than yours because we hate you. And hate is a strong... Hate get shit done. Or is it angry get shit done or hate get shit done? That's one of the, like, the lines. One of my favorite lines is good, hate them, because hate gets shit done. I, I don't even know what's happening right now. Postman on Jukebox, straight up, featuring Ashley Stroud and tap dancing. So a, comp a bunch of engineers leave, say, fuck you, we're gonna make better speakers, blatantly make better speakers. It took them a couple years to get to like this level. And now I'm here going to shill the shit out of them because they won't be available anymore. I'll I'll make sure of that. I'll make a goddamn sure of it. We'll talk about we'll talk about the source thing that's going on right now. But first, um, I guess I should pick one up. I'm gonna I'll disconnect the 
absolutely insanely stupid. $50 power cord I got on Amazon. Look at this. That's real stainless steel. <sighs> Coaxial five inch. There's your tweeter. There's your paper cone. Um, rolled regular five inch, five and a quarter. Monster front port. Little blue LED. Box is extremely tall, but not very deep. Then the back has, am I gonna yank this? I'm gonna yank this RCA. I'm gonna unplug that for a second. Come with me. Oh God, we'll make sure that background stays in focus. Power switch, volume knob, which is currently set in a certain orientation because tubes are weird. Um, balanced input, TRS balanced input, RCA input, and a diagram up here that looks like you're trying to figure out something from Lara Croft. <sighs> Basically, those eight dip switches here control how this sounds. Uh, RCA on and off is number eight. I think if you shut off RCA, it doesn't, doesn't, this way it doesn't have any interference or it doesn't work with this or it actually changes probably the balance because these are plus four decibels and that's negative 10. So it has to change the thing. So you got to click that on. Then you have high frequency, low frequency trims, just like every other thing, only you have to flip dip switches. Now I have the low frequency boosted two dB, just two, like a room correction. And these are some of the best bass I've ever heard in a speaker with just two dB. And it didn't like, like it wasn't like it was bad before I did that, but I did it anyway. Treble, I'm leaving alone. You can turn them sideways. There's put all three switches up, one, two, three, and they work in the horizontal, which is a lot of times when you go to a recording studio because they have to put it on the console and see past the console will do this so it's lower. So you can actually set it to that. You've got on a desk, near a desk, on a wall, whatever. You can figure all that shit out. Plug this back out, I wanna hear music. Oh God, yeah. I've got these little 24 inch mono price stands that I bought. I bought them on Amazon, not knowing they were mono price stands. When I could have probably just reached out to Monoprice and be like, yo, send me some stands. <sighs> All right, let's, 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 let's hit next. Definitely going to get me pulled off YouTube. The... Oh, junky XL. That is so aggressively loud and clear. All right, let's talk about the, the source for a second. Come here. So... This one right here, this is the DAC and Pre that's controlling everything. This is the Aun Flamingo. I know, it's a little tube preamp, digital, coaxial input, RCA output. And I was running just that to this. And I can actually shut off the tube a bit of it. Gotta find the remote. Look at this cute little remote. That's getting its own review. Now it's in OPA mode, not in tube mode. And well, that's all it is. It's $300 and it's fucking adorable and amazing. You're going to buy one. But then I had to test this. So I brought it out anyway. This is the Black Ice Audio Soundstage Expander, um, which I think if I shut it off, I can't play any more music, right? Yeah, no, she dies. But this is a tube driven soundstage expand, literally it's a soundstage expander, that if you put this to zero, it shouldn't affect anything. And this is a bass boost, which is at zero, so it shouldn't affect anything. And it all runs through this, and I'm going to give that its own... I don't even know how to review that. Because it's it's it does... It does miraculous things that I don't comprehend. But they're not doing them right now for these speakers, because I had these speakers on the SU-10 DAC, and they still blew my mind. They wanted to keep them here and I wanted to try new things. And I'm like, what is going on? Where am I going? How are you making this sound? How do you get this much low end? I had a friend here who is obsessed with Klipsch. Like these, these speakers right here. He's like, oh, I'd come all over the dogs and the world. What the hell to make those speakers happen in my house? These are more impressive. Th these, he goes, you don't understand. I don't understand, your honor. Your honor, I didn't understand. I was just just walking along and then all of a sudden the sound hit me in the face and then I just had to go berserk. Start eating ice cream and killing people. It was, it was wild. Simon and Garfunkel. I'm just in a church. I'm just in a church. It doesn't even make sense. 
Because everyone was, he, he, there was literally subwoofers. I had the two 12 inch subwoofers. They're there, they're getting a review too. I had those sitting here just because I had them. I just got them. And I, I turned these speakers on and he was like, those subs are on, right? And I had to look, I, I, I did like that slow movie turn where I look him right in the face. I was like, no. And he just, then his face just went blank. And I was like, what? Because, and it's not just a bass thing. Because I I do too many things where I'm impressed by the bass and everyone's like, oh, Zio just likes bass. It's just a bass thing. Fuck the bass. In fact, we could do this. It makes it go pip pop. I've just removed bass using that magic tube box. When you put on anything I'm being slapped in the face with detail. This is uh, uh, I die in your arms, the album version. I, I would love to play music. You know where I can play music, and you could hear a sound demo of these on my Patreon and Subscribe Star, where sound demos are unlimited, including wallpapers like that, but more risque. Nothing safe like that. Um, these fe these these speakers are and I'm don't don't take this statement lightly as good as almost all the swans. As they're as good I I'm going to even say they compete with the Swan Mark 3s with the Mark 2 M300s which is not a Mark 3 it's more like a Mark 6 if you add up 300 times 2. That's that's fucking praise. If you've watched this channel for more than like three days, you understand that I usually take a swan to my bedroom and bet it every time I, I get one and then figure out what strengths and weaknesses are. These are a studio monitor. These are a calibrated neutral studio monitor that work as a neutral studio monitor on a desk within arm's reach of you or sit the fuck back, put them in a living room, Buy any DAC amp, or specifically, I would love if you bought that little flamingo, that own flamingo. It is so good. I'm literally, literally, there's three things in this setup right now that people are going to complain I praise too highly. I don't care. Because this is my job. This is my job. My job is to find out how to make music the most enjoyable fucking thing for you or me or for anyone watching. What do I have to buy, Zeus? Where do I have to plug it in? Room with three other Even with the bass knob almost down to full, there's still enough bass to be like, oh, these are normal. These are these are perfectly fine speakers. B better than perfectly fine. If they are just perfectly fine, then it, uh, these have probably the best imaging I've heard from a sub thousand dollars set of set of speakers. Minus maybe the Swan M300 Mark IIs. That's it. And that's just the imaging category. Bass, I think they compete with the Swans. Uh, Mid-range, it like the vocals. That's, that's Static X. I need vocals, vocals. Oh. The only thing you know what? Pause in a second. Fuck vocals for a second. Can we just talk about tonality? Something we don't talk about here a lot on Zero Reviews, but I, 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 I wave my arms around and you're supposed to understand what tonality is. Tonality is like, it's like listening to a cello made of wood versus listening to a cello made of dried spaghetti. Like it's supposed to be wood. It, there's, a, there's a certain vibration and tone to the sound of a real instrument, like a flute or a clarinet, that if you hear it on a fucking sound bar, it's like, yeah, I think that's a clarinet. Does it sound like a clarinet? No, but I can identify it as a clarinet. If you took a sound bar, a fucking Samsung sound bar, and you sat it in the middle of an orchestra and in you know, like Carnegie Hall, and instead of that clarinet, they played the sound bar, it would sound like shit. It would still sound like a clarinet. It'd sound like shit. These don't sound like a plastic powered, mu these don't sound like a speaker. These sound like whatever is happening. You have a kick drum, it sounds like a kick drum. You have a woman speaking, it sounds like a woman speaking. You have just this. Just echoey music, bells and ding, and guitar strumming. Whatever digital noise is. I have the bass down still. I have to put the bass back up to, to, to the medium. 
setting. How is a five inch driver doing this? And you know what? They show the specs. The, the new IN8s will probably be here at some point. So hold on to your butts, boys and girls. But these have 10 watts more power. Because the driver's smaller, you need more power to get the same amount. These have ten. These are 160 watts of speaker instead of 150. Do I know if the IN eights are going to be better than the IN than the IN fives? Mark two eight. I could make an assumption. I don't know. I can't verify. I never heard the the new Mark twos. I know what I remember. What I said in the Mark one IN eights was that I was most impressed by the low end because the driver's not good. This is not going to change in the eight inch version. And I found just like with the Swans. The M500s, the M5A Swans, I don't like them because they're all eight inch fucking murder drivers and then this can't keep up. And I'm pushing this pretty hard right now. So imagine if this had an easier time and then this is trying to keep up. It might throw off the balance. It's like 5.7, it's like JBL Studio 570s. 590s, 580s, 570s are upstairs in my office. Because those have a smaller driver, they blend better. They're faster. There's a, there's a correct quote quotient. I'd rather listen to 570s all day than 580s and 590s. But when you put those on certain genres, the bigger size carries it better. Are those better speakers than the 570s? No. Are these better speakers than the IN8s? I don't know. I can't fucking tell you until I, till I have them here and listen to them. And now, just because I can, I'm going to switch this back to tube mode. So now it's running the preamp through the tube, which preview for the for the Flamingo takes the mid-range and pushes it back about four fucking feet. And now I'm gonna turn up this thing, which is just absolutely hilarious, which is a soundstage expander. I'm just gonna crank that to max. And let's just sit down and unpause this song again. I gotta do a review of that. I gotta do a review of that soon. Cause it puts sound behind you. I don't know how it does that. Because the speakers are all still there. It's got to be doing some sort of weird phase thing. Cross feed phase two fucking weird shit. The point is, I can test that stuff and how it's affecting the sound and appreciate it because of how good these Kali's are. The, these, these, these and the, I can't... See, it's it just came back. Did you hear my my stutter? It was like, but I just said the OS tens are one of my favorite speakers. They were one of my favorite. I just added them like the top five. I just said, see, you can't add another speaker to your top five. Yeah, I fucking can. Fuck you, America. In case you're watching from overseas, if it's America, you can do anything you want. It's America. So yeah, no, these are fucking amazing. Top five. I don't know what's getting pushed out. Probably every Swan butt. The M M two hundred and three hundred Mark twos. Those only swan left in my top five speakers. Ohms still in there for what they do. Bucart A seven hundred still in there, and I guess OS tens, little OS tens. That's it. Those are my five. That's my top five. There's a lot of speakers I've got going too. I'm I'm. We'll see when I get the uh, the Mofi uh, the Mofi source points or point source source points. Those will probably come into shit something else out of, I'll have to push something else out of there. Probably the ohms. Because the ohms hang on there because of their uniqueness. But then the, but the, the, like. These could absolutely compete at any audio show. They're good enough to compete. They're good enough to just blind people with sound just sit back and enjoy it you know why because you're gonna you're fuck you're done what what wadako matsuri uh japanese taiko drums it's it's the energy it's not just the sound quality or the sound placement or the tube fucking weirdness that's going on and causing shit to, you still have to get the energy of the wiggly air to quote golden sound the wiggly air it's just wiggling in the air it's wiggling in the air and the air has to come and fly and hit me in the face and i've done that a hundred times in this space and i like the way this does it more than most things there's so 
much power. You know, these are these are audio file grade studio monitors and they're undercharging. If they made the fascia look a little nicer, it's got, I will say, like, I don't hate the fact that it's that and that, but then they got this like weird like thing and they also come in white, by the way, for the drivers stay black. Like if it was, pr I would almost consider covering them. Like if you gave these to like the Focal and be like, just dress up the front of this with like some verticals and things, they could, I, you could charge $1,500 a pair for these and they'd be still the best. It's at $1,500, I still buy these. Double the price. 2000 Give me the 8-inch. Let me try the 8-inch. These are fucking dumb. Oh my god, that ho What was that? There was like a horn and then there was like a bump. And the bump wasn't there. It was in the middle. This is from um, Planetaeus. Great anime. Watch it. Watch two a week. That's a long-term anime. That's the one you want to feel for a while. Despite high tech disco I put the bass up. And I'll lower that soundstage, a modifier. Free. Men still fight wars. Oh, God. What is this? Arjun Anthony L Luxan, Yellowstone Memorial Day. All right, here's what I'm doing. Where's my mouse? I'm going to move that particular song into the new test folder I've made because sound demos that are private, I get to use it in the fuck I want. So, James Blake. There's a little to Oh, gonna break something. Oh, gonna break something. That's too much. Oh, God. Stop it. Stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. No bass boost on James Blake. James Blake does hard, goes hard. He goes hard. No, no. And let's shut off tube mode for that. Oh, my God. I could just feel the, the air. Anyway, links to these in the description if there's any left. If you're a patron, be glad this time. Because, like, that's the thing. These are three, are 700 off sale, and that's 300 And uh, I can't think of a more complete system than that tube preamp for 300 with a little remote. Takes coax as digital input. Only coax as not fiber optic. And these speakers and some cheap stands, and you're fucking... You're an autophile. You're the max cell dude. You're sitting there with your hair blowing back. Genesis tonight tonight I want to play these songs and I can't hear on the private sound demo thing I can so patron subscribe star see your views early participate in yard sales no way in hell these are in the yard sale but you know what um you KRK Rocket 7s yard sale get out I need space boom boom get out I was going to keep those. Fuck that. Participate in yard sales. Go to the here that go to the Sound Demo Oasis where you could hear all the tracks. It's the same setup like here on YouTube. You could video, get the video and you get flack audio of the recordings for any modern recordings that I've done. Um, $10 a month you get the private behind the scenes Telegram chat where you get to ask me any questions you want. You get to talk to the other members and you even get into a lifetime swap meet channel where you get to buy, sell and trade gear forever until that channel goes down and the earth explodes i don't know solar flares well, probably solar flares will kill us all um but yeah no this is uh and don't forget to check out hi for guys and hi for guys forum i'm just gonna keep playing <sighs> i've literally sat in this space because i just watch tv shows i have these thousand dollar a piece clip thx on the emotiva with the surround and everything and i chose to watch my TV and music, to watch my TV shows and movies in stereo, pure stereo, not even sub, just these fucking things because it's better. Because it's better. Because they're better. They're better. They're, they're the best. They're the, they're the best. Blue LED. They're better.